So piccolo is the same idea as flute. Uh, it's the same exact fingering, so you don't have to worry about learning any new fingering systems. The keys are a little closer together. Keep your fingers just nice and relaxed and don't let that space kind of like tense you up at all. Uh, and then the big difference between piccolo and flute actually is uh, the embouchure. So everything is the same as in like you want the nice and relaxed corners, you just want your, your hole, your aperture here to be pretty small. But because the piccolo is smaller, uh, everything else is smaller too, right? Obviously smaller fingers, smaller aperture too, smaller, uh, smaller embouchure as a whole. So I usually take the piccolo and put it up a little bit higher on my lip, just a little bit. Uh, that gets the air a little closer to the hole and that helps me get a clearer tone. And then uh, just make sure that you are still keeping space in your mouth because even though all of this is small, you don't want everything to tighten up inside because that's going to make a really shrill tone also. So here's if I'm really, really tight. But if I keep everything relaxed and open inside, it's a lot more clear. And then if I have it lower down on my lip, kind of more like flute, it still works, but what happens is the bottom lip ends up covering a little too much of the hole. Uh, and so if you raise it up a little bit, then it doesn't cover so much and then you get a clearer sound.